Um, extrapolate. It's a mistake to extrapolate. Now you saw how you could extrapolate on that overfit example, but what do I mean by that? I mean a more uh, generalized form or overloaded form of extrapolate. I mean that we learn too much from our first few experiences. Um, and it's hard to erase something we've learned, a factoid, something that actually wasn't true, but we thought it was true at one time. It's hard later when we found an error to go back and erase that memory. We might have remembered that, oh yeah, temperature is related to uh, the probability that the, that the thing is going to be available or not. And then we learn, oh, but we never filtered out the blue people, and now that, that goes away. We still temperature. There's a residual lesson learned there that we can't erase. The computer can erase and forget it, but we can't. So um, that's where a team, verbalizing your assumptions, presenting your work, these are all ways to help uh, uncover those hidden assumptions that may be erroneous. Also, uh, if you extrapolate dimensionally, Things that work well on the whiteboard do not work well in high dimensions. <laughs> it's just a whole different world out there in high dimensions. From the idea of, oh, I don't care if I care if the circle or the square. Well, the circle or the sphere is one millionth of the unit cube in high dimensions, whereas it's 70 some percent of it on a whiteboard. You know, your intuition is just not going to work. So you can't just dimensionally increase and have your ideas hold. Then there's a philosophical one here. A lot of people in the machine learning, data mining world kind of have an evolutionary paradigm that, hey, evolution, which is the best materialistic description of how we got here, I personally believe that God created the earth and don't think there's enough time for one complex form to form from simple forms and so forth. But if you're looking for a materialistic explanation, it's the best one going. And if you really believe in that explanation, that faith in that explanation might go into the technical realm to where you actually are kind of believing that these evolutionary-like methods of survival of the fittest and finding the best model and having it so forth, you, that, that faith, if you will, might transfer to the method and you might believe more in that method than the evidence for it. And my argument, and it's not an unbiased argument, my argument is that a paradigm is more the selective breeding, the sort of within or microevolution that we see going on within a species where you can take mutts and by directing their reinforcement turn them into greyhounds over several generations and get a certain property that you really like. That is a more modest uh, type of, of influence that you can have over your modeling environment rather than starting from uh, pond scum and over time getting a critter. So uh, if you have sort of more modest ideas of what uh, data mining can do, and then you start with higher order features of the data and domain expertise and add that to the mix, then you tend to get better results than starting from raw pixel values or raw price numbers and trying to number of people just because they believe in this, this, this idea, they'll take uh, you know, pork belly futures and feed it into a neural net and expect something to come out of it without doing any kind of domain-specific types of things. So trying to make a complex and controversial point there in a few minutes, and I apologize if I, if I didn't, but uh, we're on the last three now. So.